Contigo products do an amazing job in a fire test furnace, but how do they perform in the real world? Now that's why we found this 120 year old farmhouse. We put Contigo to the test. We painted the outside of this one room, but what really matters is the Contigo that was painted on the inside. Notice that we left openings, we left wall cavities exposed. We really put this room at risk compared to the rest of the house because we wanted to see what would happen in a real world fire. Although we invited the Noblesville Fire Department to come in and conduct a complete training exercise on this particular structure. They started by putting a lazy boy in the corner, covering it with a bale of straw and some combustibles, and they lit it. Chief Ravel thought that that would put the house in complete flashover conditions within just a few minutes, but that didn't happen. As you can see, this lazy boy is going to burn down entirely to the springs and be totally consumed, along with all the combustibles, before the firemen kick in the door and come in and put the fire out. They were amazed. The only thing that was left were some black blisters on the wall that you knock off, sand down, prime, and repaint. That's powerful protection. Well, then we had them burn the entire house down. They put bales of straw throughout. And look what's happening at four minutes. At four minutes, that house is unsurvivable. Even if you know to hit the deck and crawl out, you can't make it out of that structure. But the room we painted with Contigo is totally unaffected. At seven minutes, you'll see that the house is completely engulfed on the interior. Walls are starting to collapse. All the glass is blown out. But notice that the glass on the end of the room we painted with Contigo is unaffected. The roof isn't affected either. We didn't paint the roof shingles with Contigo, but the room is cool enough that it doesn't support flashover conditions. At 20 minutes, the roof is now involved in the part that was not treated with Contigo. That's just 20 minutes. In a rural area like that, barely time for a fire department to respond. Now this is shot from the inside of the treated room, filming back into the rest of the house. Look at how intensely that fire is raging. But the room painted with Contigo is still unaffected. Now the entire roof is involved as fire travels along the outside of the roof. The interior of the untreated part of the house is now completely consumed. We're looking at flames from the outside in. All of the structure is about to fail. Now we're looking through the house where walls have started to collapse. At 30 minutes, the roof is caved in on the untreated section of the house, but look how the glass is in place in the room that we treated. Walls are totally unaffected. And the only thing that's involved is the uh, section of wood shingling for fire traveled across. Look through the door on the front of it. You could walk into that house, but not the section that's untreated. At 40 minutes, we've had substantial collapse of most of the structure. Bits and fragments are exposed. But the room that we treated with Contigo could still be entered and exited safely. Smoke production is at a minimal. The glass is still intact. At 50 minutes, the walls are caved in. Only the fascia remains. And at the end of the first hour, you can see entirely through the house, everything's collapsed. It's about to fall into embers, but the room treated with Contigo remains. They never were able to completely destroy that room. They had to try a second and a third and a fourth burn. Still didn't affect that room. There's nothing theoretical about what you just saw. It's a real structure and that's real world performance.